Today I'm gonna show you guys how to clean your O2 sensor. Even if I scrub it, it still doesn't wipe off. Cut them in half and you're gonna squeeze all of them in a container. Make sure you have one of these to catch any of the hope, I think that's what it's called, that's inside the lemon juice. Your lemon juice should look something like this. Make sure it absorbs all the juices. have to leave the sensors inside the juice for 12 hours it's been roughly I'll say 12 to 15 hours and this is the first sensor as you can see there's still the black stuff on it let me see if I can get my toothbrush and see how much of this black stuff I could get out let me see here yeah as you can see it's let me just put some, oh my, look, look how dirty that is. Look at that. Maybe if I just keep on scrubbing. I don't know, so far. I mean, as you can see, it it took off the carbon off of the, you see the difference? It took off the carbon off of the, the, the sensor here. I mean, that's the best I could go. Since I brushed it, you can see every single hole that is on the sensor. Only thing I'm worried about is the middle hole. I don't know if this one's fully cleaned. Because I'm trying to clean it, but um, let me if I twist it around like this. Yeah, probably if I just twist it around. Yeah, if I just twist it around like this, maybe it'll, maybe the brush will get inside that hole. It's, it's, it's kind of clean from here. You know, if I rub my fingers on the sensor, you know, it's, it's pretty much, pretty much the best it could do. So I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Okay, so overall using lemon juice and using a toothbrush to clean these sensors isn't the best solution. You mainly need something to um, spray inside these tiny little holes that these sensors have. Or even better, using a carb cleaner right here. This carb cleaner can has a straw and this can easily spray in between the little tiny holes on the sides and including the top. Instead of using lemon juice, you'll be better off using fuel cleaners Fuel cleaners is probably one of the best ways to clean an O2 sensor. Basically just soaking these sensors in fuel cleaner or even carb cleaner as well. Um, but lemon juice, I would not recommend it. This O2 sensor still had carbon inside the sensor head here. And using just a toothbrush and lemon juice was not enough to clean these O2 sensors. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.